So the purpose of this lesson is to teach you one of the greatest secrets in accounting. And I'm going to reveal it right now. So hi guys, so this video is going to be a little different because this time uh, I'm going to teach you a life tool. Not really sure if I should call this a life tool. But of course, since we're studying accounting, I consider this a life tool. And it's something that I believe is necessary for everyone to learn. So of course, since we're all accountants and we all want to be efficient in solving, because of course, as accountants, we need to solve several problems, we need to write a lot of numbers. So the first purpose of this video is to help those freshies. Yes, I'm talking about you. The first year students in accounting. Of course, since since you're all new to accounting, it might come as a shock that we're actually using a manual calculator. So, of course, buying a manual calculator is important. You need to choose a calculator that you're going to be using until your last year in accounting, until you take the board exams. So what I'm going to teach the first year students and possibly other students who might be interested is one of the greatest secrets in accounting. When you learn this technique, I assure you, solving will become a breeze. So what is this important technique in accounting that everyone needs to know, especially first year students? Believe me, you need to learn this. Well, it's basically called M plus or the memory in. So you may be wondering what is this M plus or M minus? Basically, it's just to save the numbers that you have solved. So this is especially important when you're solving really quickly. Like when there, there's only 5 minutes left and you need to solve a problem in 5 minutes and you don't have time to write the numbers in paper. Because of course, you're panicking, you're trembling, you're sweating, and you need to solve the problem as fast as you can. So what better way to solve this problem than by using M+. Because believe me, M+, will be a lifesaver. So while you're still in your first year, I believe it's necessary that you understand how to use this M+. Because through practice, through passion, through love for accounting, you're going to be able to solve problems without using paper anymore. You're going to solve problems straight out of your calculator while smiling. So now that we understand what the M plus is, it's basically memory in. It's basically saving your last solved item. So you might be wondering how will this benefit you? So when you're solving accounting problems, it's, it's not just 50 times 34 and stuff like that. There's multiplication, there's addition, there's division. You need to solve for these items one by one. So since we're talking about huge numbers, large numbers, in the millions perhaps, then writing these numbers in paper is of course going to take time. So what better way to solve these difficult problems, these large numbers, than by using the M plus. So let's get into it. So the first thing that you need to do is check your calculator. Now don't worry, all calculators have the M plus function. So here it is in my calculator. You can see here this is the M plus and this is the M minus. So for this lesson, we're going to talk about the M plus here. So here's a simple example of how we can use the M plus. So take note, this is only simple, but believe me, if you can do this using a simple problem, then you can definitely most do it using a difficult problem. The question asks you for the total revenue. And the given is, we have sold 25,000 units of product A with a selling price of 500 pesos each. And we have also sold 30,000 units of product B with a selling price of 450. So how much is the total revenue? So of course, for the people who do not know how to use the M+, so what they're going to do is, of course, 25,000 times 500 equals 12.5 million. So they're going to write it in paper, 12.5 million. The next thing that they're going to do is 30,000 times 450. So that's 13.5 million. So they're going to add 13.5 million plus 12.5 million. So the answer is 26 million. So now, the time it took for you to write the amount in a piece of paper 
is what we call a non-value added activity. When we say non-value added activity, it means that it's a process that could actually be removed because it does not add value to what you're doing. So that's actually a concept in accounting. So we want to retain the value added activities and we want to remove the non-value added activities. So of course, writing in a piece of paper takes time, it's non-value added because we can remove it and still get the same result. So how do we do it using M plus? Okay, so this is how we do it. 25,000 times 500, that's 12.5, right? Remember that M plus will save what you've sold. So if you've saved what you've sold, this 12.5, then you can just get it back anytime. So let's press M plus. Now that we've pressed M plus, you can see the letter M here. This basically means that we have saved the number. This is the memory. The memory is in. That's why it's M plus. And we use add to treat this as a positive number. Now, so the next thing that you need to do is press clear. Remember, I said press clear. Clear and not off. Do not press on or CA. This is the off function. So if you turn your calculator off, then the memory will be cleared. So as you can see, we can start fresh now. We can solve another problem. So the other problem is going to be 30,000 units multiplied by 450, the selling price. So it's 30,000 units times 450. So we have 13.5 million. So now we want to add those two numbers, the 12.5 and the 13.5 million. So of course, just like what I've said, pressing M plus will add it to the memory. So let's press M plus once. Okay, so once you press M plus, this number was added to the previous number we've saved. So now, what you can do is show the total number or the total number saved. To show the total number saved, we just press RM. So take note for other calculators, this might have a different name. For, so for this calculator, it's RM. Just experiment with your calculator and see what kind of function they have. So RM means recall memory. So basically, it's just to recall or to show what we've saved. So, RM. So as you can see, when I pressed RM, it showed 26 million or the total memory saved in. So now, let's extend the problem. What if the problem is asking for the gross profit? So it's given that 8 million cost of goods sold is related to product A and 9 million of the cost of goods sold is related to product B. So now, we need to remove these costs from the total revenue. So remember that we still have the 26 million saved in. Now, we just press clear so that we can solve for another problem. Remember that it's still saved. You can see the letter M because we pressed clear and we did not turn the calculator off. So the memory is still saved here. So if you can press recall memory, still here 26 million clear so now we need to solve for the cost of goods sold we just need to add these two costs related to product a and product b so for product a it's 8 million we need to add the cost of product b plus 9 million so we have a total cost of 17 million and we need to remove this from the revenue so what we can do is just press m minus this means that it's going to save this number with the total number we've sold before, but this time it will treat this as a negative number. So it will deduct this number from the total revenue we've saved earlier, M minus. So 26 million minus 17 million, it will give us a result of 9 million. So the total gross profit sold is 9 million. So that's it. That's the reason why the M plus is really important when solving problems. So that's it. I'm proud of you. You now know how to solve problems using the M+. And it's an important skill when using the calculator because of course there are going to be times that you don't have time anymore to write the numbers. So when you're solving problems and it requires simultaneous solving, then the M+, is going to be really handy. It's going to save you in tough situations, believe me. There are exams that really take too much of your time. And as accountants, we need to be timely. Because of course, accountants has that value of timeliness. We need to be timely, we need to be flexible, adaptable to the situation. So I'm proud of you for learning the M+. I hope you frequently use this tool. I hope you continuously learn 
how to utilize this tool in solving problems because as you progress further in accounting once you've learned taxation financial accounting advanced financial accounting auditing you're going to need to use them plus to survive so that's it thanks for watching i hope you learned a lot from this lesson stay safe and peace out